I bring you a word from the monastery. <laughs> no, I'm bringing you a word from First Peter, and appropriate, I guess, for Pasqua, Easter. So he's uh, verse, um, chapter 3, 1 Peter. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. <clears throat> How's that? Amen. Jesus, the only perfect and just one, died for the unjust. That's you and me. That he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. <clears throat> By whom he also went and preached to the spirits in prison who formerly were disobedient when once the divine long-suffering waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared. Now I heard one preacher say that uh, everyone was tainted, uh, deformed blood except for Noah and his family. All the rest were Nephilim. <laughs> well, I don't think Jesus was going to go and preach to the Nephilim. I think they were the created ones of the, of the Lord, unless we're going to have Nephilim in heaven. <laughs> going to be walking around with these Nephilim everywhere from the days of Noah. But anyway, Christ suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, praise God. And that flood and that rescue by Noah, uh, verse 21, this is an antitype which now saves us, baptism. Not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God. So I'm thinking about that. Yeah, we are born again of the Spirit. Our bodies pretty much remain the same. But I did have a bit of removal of the filth of the flesh, a gangrenous uh, appendix. So, But that was at the hand of a, a doctor from Manila. Yes, so we're still walking around the earth like the Nephilim. <laughs> No, in our, in our mortal bodies, uh, which are getting older and uh, wrinkly every, every day. But praise God, we've been made re, renewed in our spirits and in our minds, been renewed by this word. Amen. Yeah. And re, the, he's the answer of a good conscience towards God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That resurrection gives us hope that we, we shall also see God, but receive a new body. And uh, I wouldn't mind being resurrected as a Nephilim for a couple of days, uh, <laughs> who has gone into the heavens and is at the right hand of, the, of God. Angels and authorities and powers made subject to him. Amen. And he intercedes for us at the right hand of the, of the, of the Father. And the Lord has said, sit thou at my right hand, until I make all thy enemies a footstool for your feet. Amen. Maybe a big footstool of a Nephilim. <laughs> okay, enough of the Nephilim. But Christ suffered once for sins. Amen. For all time. That one sacrifice. That we don't need another sacrifice. Except that one time that Christ suffered for the unjust. Amen. Happy Easter. <laughs>